What's up, it's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys have noticed that my videos have improved a ton in quality over the past month, and because of that, a lot of you guys have just been asking me for my Sony Vegas render settings, and since Sony Vegas Pro 15 just came out, I thought this would be a perfect time to make an updated video. Now, I've been experimenting with different settings for months now, trying to find what works the best for YouTube videos, and I found that these are by far the best in my opinion. The video that you're actually watching right now is rendered using these settings, so in case you want something to reference, just go ahead and change the quality to 1080p at 60fps, and you can see what you'll probably expect from rendering your videos using these settings. Anyways, if you do end up enjoying the video or think this video did help you at all, then please do leave a like. I know that not all my subscribers are using Sony Vegas for their videos, but I still thought I'd make this for those of you guys who are, or those of you guys who are just looking for the best render settings in 1080p at 60fps. Also, I will have a link to the Sony Vegas Pro free trial in the description below in case you guys are interested. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm guessing this is going to be a pretty short video because I'm not going to be teaching you guys how to edit from scratch. I'm just going to be showing you guys some render settings. But if you guys do want me to like make a video showing you guys like how I edited this video right here, then definitely let me know in the comment section below and maybe I can do an updated editing tutorial for beginners but anyways moving on from all of that stuff this is what my normal projects look like but for the video we're going to start up a new project so go to file and then click on new and once you're over here what I want you guys to do is click on this drop down box right here and go down until you find HD 1080-24p don't click on HDV 1080-24p or anything like that just follow along with what I'm doing so HD 1080-24p and since this video is 460 FPS, what you want to do right away is change your frame rate from 23 to 59.94. Don't type in 60, this rounds up to 60 FPS on YouTube, so you'll be fine. And of course, you want to keep your width at 1920 and your height at 1080 because we are making our videos in 1080p. Moving on from that, we can leave everything else the exact same, but what we want to make sure we do is change our resample mode to disable resample. There's a pretty good chance that yours might already be on smart resample, so just go ahead and change it to disable resample. From there, make sure you tick this box that says start all new projects with these settings. Anyways, you can leave the rest the same just like I said. And the one thing I highly recommend you guys do is give your template a name, so I'm just going to name it Moz. And from there, just go ahead and click on the save button right here. So in case you ever do accidentally change your settings, all you have to do is just start up a new project and look for where it says Moz instead of going to HD 1080 24p or something like that you can just click on moz and all the settings are going to be the same again and moving on from that we're going to click on ok and as you can see a brand new project just started up but anyways once you do have a new project what i want you guys to do is just go ahead and drag some footage in so i'm just going to quickly open a file explorer and just drag some random clips in i'm not going to be using like real footage i'm just going to be throwing in like random intros that i had in the past but the one thing that you're going to notice right as you drag in your first clip is that you're going to have this dialog box right here and the thing that you want to make sure you do is click on no every time that shows up moving on from that i'm just going to drag in some more clips and then i'll get back to you guys when i'm done all right, cool. So I just threw in like three random clips. It's probably gonna be like 20 seconds or something. But the one thing I highly recommend doing is starting your footage all the way from the beginning of your timeline. So as you can see, I have three different videos right here, but we can just pretend they're like different scenes of a vlog or something. But the one thing I always recommend is drag it all the way to the beginning so that there's no like random blank seconds in your video that like random like three black seconds that have nothing to do with the video. If it's all like touching each other, then it's gonna be perfect. And you'll have like no like random parts in the middle that shouldn't be there. I know a lot of people actually like just start editing their videos somewhere in the middle and they just combine them right here, which is okay if you do know how like uh, loop regions work and rendering with, rendering with those on Sony Vegas. I'm guessing most of you guys actually do know how that works, but I'm going to assume some of you guys are beginners, so I'm just going to move it all the way back to the beginning and we'll start from there. Now, of course, this is just like test editing, so you guys probably will have like pictures, music, transitions, things like that, like how I had in the beginning of this video with my old project. But anyways, for the tutorial, I'm just going to throw these things together, maybe add like some fades, uh, add like some transitions right there, and add a closing fade. So let's pretend like that's a whole video. But anyways, moving on from that, the first thing that I actually want to make sure you guys do is hold control on your keyboard, which is going to be at the bottom left of your keyboard usually, and select everything that is a video. And if you hold control while you're doing it, then you, you can select multiple things at the same time. From there, let go of control, right click on any video, go to switches, and then click on disable resample. And doing this is just going to prevent any ghosting and makes your video that much cleaner. But moving on from that, we can go to the render settings. So the first thing I highly recommend you guys do is just double click on this blank space up here until all your video just gets selected and it's like a blue like highlight on top of everything. From there, go to file and then click on render as. And of course, if this was like a real project, then I would be saying, make sure you're saving your project every time you make some big changes so that you don't lose anything because Sony Vegas is really known to crash on you guys pretty often and it crashes on me pretty often too. But anyways, the first thing that I want you guys to do is I know that the format of this like dialog box might look different depending on if you're on Sony Vegas Pro 14 or 13 or 15 or whatever you're on. But the first thing that you want to do is make sure you select Sony AVC slash MVC. Don't select anything else unless you've seen other tutorials and you know that something works better. I've experimented for months and I found that this works the best. From there, click on Internet 1920 X 1080 30P. Go to Customize Template. 
But the first thing I want you guys to do is change the frame rate from 30 FPS to 60 FPS because of course this video is for 1080p at 60 FPS and change your bitrate to the highest one possible. If yours doesn't go this high, don't like type in the numbers manually. Do whatever the highest is for your computer. And also there might be an option like right under this somewhere that says encode mode and it's just like a drop down box kind of like this one right here that you can just select something from. And if you do have the option that shows up, just select render using CPU only, but only do that if you do see the option. So I personally don't have that option because that was only available in older versions of Vegas. But since this is the newest version of Vegas, it's not available anymore. But once you do select render using CPU only, you should be good to go. If it does say render using GPU, please don't select that. CPU is going to be way better and GPU like that setting is mainly for older computers. Computers. But anyways, we can move on to the audio and I know how crucial of a thing audio can be depending on what you're uploading like in case that's beats or music or something like that. But what I found works best is just keeping it at 128,000. Of course you can bump it up if you'd like to but I really don't think you're going to notice that big of a difference in my opinion. So personally I don't think it's worth it and the extra render time that's going to take to actually render in higher bitrate. But anyways, moving on from that, we can skip system and we can go to project. And from here, what we want to do is change the video rendering quality from use project settings all the way down to best. And once we're done with that, we can go back to the video tab. And from here, again, just add a name to your template. So I'm just going to name it Moz. And from there, just click on the little save button right here. And you should be good to go. So every time you want to render, you can see the Moz option right here. And if I click on OK, there should be a Moz option in here too. So as you guys can see, there it is. And this is the one that we just made, but it's basically the same thing. And if you want, you can just go ahead and favorite it if you do want to. From there, make sure that you click on this render options button and render loop region only is selected because the loop region is what we selected right here in the blue. But from there, we can just give the file a name. So I named mine test controls for YouTube and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Wherever you want to save it is totally up to you. But for example purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and render it to my desktop. And as you can see, it's going pretty quick, but that's only because I don't have a ton of things going on in the video like I did in the previous project that I was showing you guys. This might take a while depending on how good of a computer you do have, since these are the best render settings at 1080p and 60fps in my opinion. So of course these can take a while depending on how old of a computer you have. It doesn't really take me that long, it usually takes me exactly how long the video is. So if my video is like 10 minutes, then the video usually renders in like 10 to 15 minutes or around there. But anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if y'all aren't ready because I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But on that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.